guys, this is Maria. Today I'm collaborating with my friends at NeuroPsyQ to bring you a quick and easy recipe that you can do at home during self-isolation. Self-isolation has been difficult for a lot of us, but it's brought about the unique opportunity to try some new activities. One of them is cooking. So today we're going to learn a quick and easy beginner's recipe for making crepes. Let's get to it. Okay, so here we are. I have a big bowl, a hand mixer, and I've pre-measured all of the ingredients. We're gonna start off with two cups of flour, and to that, we're going to add one tablespoon of sugar and a pinch of salt. And we're gonna mix those things together. And we're gonna leave them. We're gonna leave them in our in our little mixing cup here. I'm gonna set that aside. Okay, the next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna crack two eggs and put them into our big bowl here. And we're gonna start whisking the eggs with our hand mixer. Until they're well mixed. To the eggs, we're gonna add two and a quarter cups of milk and continue whisking. You can see that it's a very watery mixture at this point, but that's okay because this is what we're going to add the flour to. So while we're whisking our milk and egg mixture, we're going to start adding spoonfuls of the flour mixture little by little until it incorporates. You can see that it's thickened now. To this mixture, we're gonna add one tablespoon of vanilla to give it a nice smell and flavor. This is optional. The vanilla is an optional additional ingredient. Okay, and keep mixing. So once we're done with our mixing, we are going to see a consistency similar to a pancake batter. It's slightly thick yet still runny. And we are going to scrape down everything from the sides. Make sure there's no clumps. And once we do that, 
we are going to set this aside and cover it with a cloth for about half an hour. So we're going to cover it and leave it for half an hour. We'll be back soon with the finishing touches. Hey guys, we're back. And now we're gonna start frying our crepes. We've turned the stove to a medium high heat and I've put a little bit of oil on the pan. We're just gonna spread it around while it's heating and let it heat up to nice hot temperature. In the meantime, we're gonna take a look at our mixture. If it's thickened up during the waiting process, one thing I do is I just take the milk and I add a little bit more milk to the mixture. You can do this just by, by eye. Um, and you mix it around until you see that the mixture is runny enough that it's going to spread nicely on the pan once we add it. So this looks pretty good. And we are ready to go. So depending on the size of your pan, you want to take as much mixture as you need to cover it in a very thin layer. So I take about one ladle full of mixture and you spread it across your pan while it's hot and you watch the mixture go spread all over the pan, just like this. Spread it all around. Spread it around. and let it heat up. As it's heating, I like to push the edges down so that they don't get too sticky. And then after about one minute, you can do the first wipe. Mmm, smells really good. Now, depending on how dark you like your crepes, you can take them off the fire relatively quickly or let them turn a little bit more golden. You can see that it's basically ready. Looks great. And don't forget to practice your crepe flipping skills as well. Once it's done, you take it off the fire and it's ready to go. So that's it. I hope you guys enjoyed that little lesson and I hope you enjoy the crepes that we made together today. Um, I personally love having my crepes with all sorts of different toppings. Um, raspberry jam goes really well. Um, you can also try them with honey or some cinnamon sugar added. Um, if you want to make them salty, Cream cheese is always really good. And my personal favorite, and I'm sure is everyone's, is Nutella or chocolate spread. So enjoy, stay safe, and um, we're all in this together. Thanks NeuroPsyQ for including me in your videos this week. Bye.